Shalom, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. First and foremost, before we get started, we're going to give all the praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Harakah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. And salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. All right. So yeah, there's a lot going on right now. You know, uh, the war going on in the Middle East, which is gonna lead out to all out war, okay? World War III is gonna start and finish based upon what's going on in the Middle East. What's going on with the way the West, America, is, you know, uh, pushing them on all these nations, pushing against Iran, Syria, Russia, okay, China, Korea, all this is leading up to the third and final world war, all right, in which is going to lead to the destruction of America, okay. America is prophesied to be destroyed by nuclear missiles, man. Okay. For all the violence that is done unto this place. Uh, you looking for something? All right, man. Okay, go ahead. This is um, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city, hey, Trump has that slogan to make America great again. This is that great city, okay? This is Babylon the Great. That great city, Babylon, be thrown down, and shall be no more, and shall be found no more at all. So when this place is destroyed by those missiles, okay, this place is never gonna rise up again. It's not going to be like Rome, where Rome fell and then there was a renaissance, okay? When this place falls, all these Edomites are going into captivity, man, okay? All you so-called white people that descend from Esau, Edom, you're going into captivity. Those of you that don't die by the nukes, those of you that don't die by plagues, famine, from the men of the Lord with spiritual power, from these troops from fighting World War III. Okay? Chiefly, it's going to be the elite of Esau, Edom, the Illuminati, the hierarchy of their power structure that, that survives the nukes. But they're going straight into slavery. Okay? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's the des destiny of, of you Edomites, man. Okay? Once again, you so-called white people like this, sin from Esau, Edom. Okay? Now you, 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 uh, people that believe in you, how about Shimei Shai, that look like another nation, you have nothing to fear. Yahweh Shai said just believe. Okay? So just continue on believing that he has the power to deliver you from all things. Because we're going to need faith. Okay, we're gonna need faith to swiftly, uh, to uh, safely move within the day of the Lord, man. Okay, that's.
past the day that's approaching, man. The dreadful and terrible day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He says it's coming and he hasted greatly. All right? But this place is going to be thrown down with violence, man. Okay? This place is actually going to see conflict. All right? It's going to take you people by surprise. Here it is, you Babylonians, you Americans, don't got a clue about what the fuck is going on. All right? You don't have any understanding that these nations are getting ready to invade you, man. Okay? That China, Korea are planning to drop this power grid, man. You got Russia. They already did uh, uh, been, been uh, accused of uh, cyber attacks, man. Cyber warfare is a new method, man. And it has a, it has a great, great, uh, 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 a great, um, how would I say it? You know, it's a great weapon, all right? Let's just say it like that. You know, you know? Cause here it is, we're prophesying, telling you this place is gonna go, all right? There is nothing that anybody can do to prevent the destruction of this place, man. Okay, Esau, as wise as he is, as mighty as he is, is not going to be able to fight against the Lord or hinder prophecy, man. Okay? This is uh, Sarat 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See, so their spirits created for vengeance. Okay? Spirits are being roused up right now for vengeance. Hey, those Iranians, they vowed vengeance, which vengeance simply means payback or revenge. Okay, for all these high level officials that America and Israel have been killing off, man. Okay, for attacking the, the Muslim world. All right, so they're promising that they are going to fight and, and attack uh, uh, Israel. It's not a matter of if, but when. Those are those spirits that are being stirred up. And it's going to have an effect on the world. The whole world is going to say, look, have these devils become as weak as us? Oh, now, now we're on an equal playing field. Now we got numbers and power. Let's just strike them now. Okay? The scriptures talk about how terror shall take hold of him on every side. So when one nation attacks, or one alliance attacks, these other nations that feel some type of way about America are going to say, you know what? Let's attack that bitch too. Let's send our troops that way too. Let's drop bombs on them too. Okay? They're going to do these things, man. This is prophecy. It says fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. See, all those, all those concepts. Okay, those ways of attack. The Lord is going to utilize upon Esau, Edom, upon his system, and also these other nations and two thirds of our people. So many vicious animals out here chomping people up. There's already reports of these animals escaping from the zoos. So what's going to happen when nobody's tending to those zoos, those animals? You already got nutcases out there. People that like to just do things off a whim. You know, I don't know if you remember that movie, uh, Jay and Silent Bob, where they were in that lab where they're testing, uh, you know, different agents on animals. And uh, the chimpanzee started unlocking the cages for all the other animals, man. Then all the animals broke loose. It's nothing for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to put a spirit on an 
another creature to do something like that, man. And then what? Plagues, famine, and they mention the sword. We're living in the time of war, which the sword represents war. It represents violence. You know? So what's coming is violence, is war. You know? That's what Esau has to look forward to, is his destruction. It says punishing the wicked unto their destruction. All right? This is the time. Okay? You know, the, the disciples asked you how was shy. You know, when, 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 when is the time you're coming? And he said, you could, you could see, you could understand how the seasons work when a season is going to change by the environment. So you can understand the time that we're living in just by things that are going on. In Europe, they're lighting shit on fire, stabbing people. You know, Venezuela, they're bugging out. Okay. Here in America, they're bugging out, man. You know, it's going to be civil, civil war, man. Did you actually pay attention to what's going on in the European countries? The news over there? <laughs> They're all bugging out over there because of the immigration. Mm. All the, you know, they're they're tired of it. So they're burning down mosques. They're taking they're, uh, out in Ireland, bro. They're fucking burning down immigration housing. They're attacking migrants on site. You know, in certain places like the hoods in, in, in Ireland. Oh yeah, they're going crazy out there, bro. You know, places like Kulak, Finless, <laughs> where it's like you know, it's like pure your energy out there you know what I mean yeah you know uh, uh, over there out there in England and stuff too man they're attacking migrants they're burning down Muslim shit you know so <clears throat> yeah all the, you know there's gonna be war in every place man because the thing is is that uh, this is the time of Esau Edom's end you know so how about Shemi Al-Shai has all these uh, uh, different nations running up, run, running through, you know, these Edomite countries. You know, they're all pouring in, they're being invaded. You know, make no mistake, man, that it, 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 it's an invasion of Esau, man. You know, Esau is being invaded, man. You know, like the brother uh, posted a video in the chat that another brother did where Venezuela sending all these uh, criminals up here, murderers and stuff. And that's why I brought out that scripture about the spirits of vengeance, man. You know, because I was looking, I was watching an interview with a serial killer. That 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 type of person is literally fucking programmed yeah. to be a serial killer. Like he's talking to him, the, the interviewer was talking to him, and he was like, uh, why do you kill people? And he's just like, I don't know, I just I get the urge to do it. You know, I can't stop. I can't stop. And he says, do you want to kill me now? This motherfucker licks his lips, bro. The interviewer asked the serial killer, do you, you want to kill me right now? The serial killer licked his lips, bro, like he was about to eat something for lunch, man. That's that's the spirit of vengeance, man. That's, some, that's somebody that's literally created just to brutally kill people, man. Yeah. And, and a lot of, and these, and, and the Lord, hey man, the Lord will make some crazy ass creations, man, because these motherfuckers have sick minds. All right, because look at past serial killers. You had ones that were like, well, uh, pedophile weirdos that would only kidnap children and, and, and do shit to them and fucking murder them. You had uh, the Buffalo Bill dude that would skin people and wear them as a suit. You know, Leatherface takes a chainsaw massacre. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper, you know. They had, they had, they, Zodiac. So, yeah, it was, it wasn't just because, it, it wasn't just, oh, I'm just gonna kill people. Nah, man, they had these sick, twisted fantasies in their mind that they wanted to play out, you know, before they killed people. They were special, the Lord specifically designed them for those tactics. Yeah, man. Motherfuckers that'll lock you in a dungeon and torture your ass and shit, man. Like, you know, just weird shit, man. In the day of in the day of trouble, these motherfuckers are gonna be on the loose, and there's gonna be tons of them, man. They, hey, hey, look, 
you know what's crazy about America? And, and it's it, it, uh, you have the uh, the prison system, which is a private corporation, a money making system, right? Basically, basically in slavery. You know, under the uh, was it the Thirteenth Amendment or something like that, uh, where you can't, you, you pretty much can't have a slave unless it's a, uh, somebody that's in prison or something like that. You know, so a pri prison system is, is actually modern day slavery, right? Yeah. And the prison houses are full, right? It, they're so full that they don't even lock people up anymore for certain crimes. You know, so uh, uh, you have all these people doing all these different life sentences, you know, three million years and shit. Well, when this system goes down, there's not going to be any, any, any yeah, prison system anymore. There's not going to be any prison guards and during a cyber attack or something that destroys the grid or brings the power down is going to unlock all the doors because this has happened in a maximum prison before where their power went down and all the doors opened up you know all the doors unlocked because it's all on a all on a uh, uh, electrical system man. so you're gonna have you're gonna have you know however billions of prisoners there are hundreds of thousands just unleashed along with all these different migrants that are you know criminals uh, uh, of their country that they're coming from you know, and when the system goes down, they're just going to be free to do as they will. You know, it says in the scriptures, the course of their actions shall stand in their hand, man. Because they're going to have power to do it. They're going to have power to do whatever they want. Yeah, quick one. Yeah. This is um, Revelation 14. And, 20. and the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. So that's just going into how much violence, how much bloodshed there's going to be. Man. Horses are tall, so it's pretty much saying it's going to be like just a bloodbath. Literally, it's gonna be a bloodbath. You know, this place, America, man, is gonna see the worst end of of the judgment, man. You know, the whole world's gonna be at war. Okay, but the place to see the worst of it's gonna be here, man. All right, this place with much violence. Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down? Brothers talk about serial killers, prisoners, escaping. Bro, some of them serial killers, man, you know, they're, they're, they're like, a lot of them are into different things. Some of them are, are fucking cannibals, man. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dahmer, Dahmer was a cannibal, man. You know, so. And then you gotta have Esau eat him out here, the, the, the most gruesome of all the serial yeah. killers. Yeah. When it says Second Ezra says they, they shall be like madmen sparing none. Those that's a serial killer, man. You know, these police hey, I saw a video where I saw a video where Trump came out and said that when he gets a, he gets in office, he wants to give all police federal immunity. Meaning that they're free to just blow people away like Judge Dredd, man. Yeah. That's that's that scripture, man. That's the that's gonna be the that's the slayer, man. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none. You know, literally just hey, doing whatever the fuck they want. Man. Cause that's not that's how Esau is, man. Esau's not governed by uh, uh, laws that you can You know, Esau is governed by his own free will, man. Or what he thinks his own free will is. Satan, because that's that's the Satanism. That's what Esau pushes. Do as thou wilt, man. You know, that's why he pushes uh, all, all this madness out into the world, man. 
you know, it says in the scriptures that his, uh, his integrity shall proceed of himself. You know, he decides what's right and what's wrong. You know, that's why you have in America, all these different states having all kind of different contradicting laws, man. It's called the United States of America, but they can't agree on shit. Yep. That's another thing. It's, this place is going to advance in a, in a civil war. You know, where these, these fucking troops and veterans and officials are going to be killing each other, man. Look at all the things they're saying about Trump, how oh, Biden and them are setting up assassins and taking them out. And, you know, it's already like ancient Rome. My ancient Rome was they were taking each other out to see who was gonna who was gonna become the next Caesar. You know, hey, the, the, the scriptures are real. You know, the, the, it tells you in, in uh, I believe Africa. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah. That whole vision is coming to life, man. How we how we see that this is that that dragon, okay, that that was seen to have been dead, but from a from a head wound, but came back by the things that are taking place, man. You know, they're starting to whack each other again. You know. Divisions, wars, more, more fucking uh, bread and circus. You got yeah. what football started? Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, all these people are trying to bury their head as far into the sand as they can, man. That's why when it get when it's when it starts getting super real, super fucking real, man. Being out here preaching gonna be dangerous because these people ain't gonna want to hear the reality of the situation. They ain't gonna want to hear that. They they don't want to realize or, or come to the fact of the matter that what the prophets are out here saying is true, man. They don't want to they don't want to come to realize that what the the crazy assholes that are out on the street, you know, that they say, you know, they say are crazy assholes out on the street, you know, all the doom and pro prophesying nothing but doom and gloom and. You know, so-called black suspense, you know, they'd be like, oh yeah, this is crazy motherfuckers out there, man. But then, gonna gonna have to come to the realization that everything, you know, that the brothers have been preaching are actually the truth. And that, hey, just like, uh, remember, uh, uh, you know, Ralph, he, he, he showed us that one video with the little Zelda characters. And, he was, and, it, and, and the whole thing was like, this, they, you had all these uh, people chained up in a in a dungeon, and then one guy breaks free and he sees the outside, and he goes and tries to tell tell all of his fellow uh, inmates that there's a better place, and they all start uh, uh, talking shit to him, and eventually they get so mad about it that they kill his ass. Yeah, that's real. It's just like you try to tell people this truth. I remember when you first come in, and people hate you for it. You know. This is Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Yep. And especially now, as time is approaching closer and closer, you know, everything is in plain view to the point where if you can't, if you can't see it, you, you are either blinded or you literally trying to run away from this, man. You, you, you're trying to be like the ostrich and bury your head in the sand, man. Yep. And if you're, you're chosen, you're not going to be able to resist. Oh, yeah. You're going to believe. You're going to have to. Yeah, you're going to be forced to. You know? It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. Hey, but that's why you have to have faith and believe, man. You know, because if it does come down to it where, you know, the worst comes to the worst, that's why in the, the, the scripture that says, you know, that they were commended that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man, because no matter what happens, you know, you can't break or buckle 
because you know that this is the truth and, 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 and everything that you lose you're going to gain back anyways if you, if you just stand through it you just trust the lord the lord's going to pull through man because in the end you're, you're going to get everything back anyways man so you can't you know you can't give in to the temptation because that's going to be temptation man you know if we have family members telling you all oh, you need to get out of that cold They start rousing people up against you or, you know, try to get you uh, uh, detained or in prison, you know. And ultimately, Esau's going to try and get you to turn your back on the truth, man. You know, Esau's going to tell you, hey, don't you want your family back? Don't you want your old life back? Like, you know. That shit, man. Everything can go back to normal, man. All you got to do is Good job, submit thyself. This is uh, Psalm chapter 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakakodash, is the death of his saints. It's a precious thing. You know, the death of, of the Israelites, man, starting with brothers in the truth. Your life is precious to the Lord. So, yeah, not every brother is going to have to taste the death. But certain brothers that do taste of that death, you know, it's going to be a honor amongst the honorable men. You know, it's an honor. This is another one. Matthew 19 and 29. Actually, 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which is talking about now, because we are regenerated, we are. Uh, uh, reincarnated when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory hasn't taken place yet it's going to take place now so it's talking about now he also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. You see, so all that you sacrifice or that you lose in the name of the Lord, you know, you're going to receive that. But a hundredfold, look at Job. Good story. Good book to read. Because Job lost, you know, his children. He lost business. He lost friends. You know, but in the end, the Lord restored that to him. He gave it all back to him. And when he gave it back to him, he gave it back to him in a magnified form. He said, it said the daughters that Job got, there was none more fair than, than his daughters. And Job was an actual Israelite, but that story could be equated to what we go through now. Because the Lord is going to do that very same thing for us. Okay, he's gonna give us everything, man. He's gonna give us the universe. Okay, in, in Ezra, it talks about how he created the world for our sakes. I was looking at on the news. They said there was a they they found an asteroid or a planet that was worth like a thousand quadrillion uh, uh, dollars in, in just precious metals and gems alone. That's for us to inherit and build, build our kingdom, man. Build up Yahweh Shai's house, his, his temple, the, you know, and then ours surrounding it, man. And then, you know, it's crazy too. It was, it was, it was crazy too. You think about it, man. Uh, uh, in the kingdom, right? Buildings and streets and everything. That's gonna be made out of precious metals. You know, how, housing and, and, and all this stuff is going to be... You look at Esau, Esau uses the lowest form. He, he, he uses dirt and clay to build his build his huts. <laughs> you know what it's I mean? Cute, man. Yeah, man. Like, all this shit's made out of fucking stone, man. Like this is this is the lowest this this is the lowest level building. You know, like if you ever played a RTS, 
and you start off with wood and then you go to stone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is this is the lowest tier. This low tier. This low tier, man. You know. Tier <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. This is tier one crafting right here. Man. One goes in the case of cement. Yeah, man. That's base tier. Yeah, it's base tier. You know. In the kingdom of heaven, man, they gonna be unlocking level, you know, you're gonna be on level 10, bro. Yeah. You know, you're gonna have metals that we ain't even heard of, or, you know, gonna be used. And, 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 and the operations of the metals, so that, man, you gotta, you gotta be able to use certain certain uh, metals and, 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 and different combinations of elements to make floating buildings. And, bro, it's, just, it's gonna be crazy. Buildings that glow and, and do different, different things. Build, man, just... You know, oh man, you think about hey man, you might have uh, hey remember uh, in Dragon Ball Z how they have the uh, the hyperbolic uh, time chamber man, you know you can have uh, uh, you might have metals out there different different elements to put together to make a uh, uh, you know something like that man, or a place where gra or you know the building where, where gra gravity is. You know, obsolete gravity gets, you know, taken out. So you go in there, you just float around and shit. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. This is Revelation 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Having the glory of Yahweh, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. The city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord Yahweh Shai Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of Yahweh did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Same way that the earth, you know, is illuminated on one side, man. You know, because when you read in Genesis, before the sun and the moon were created, there was light, uh, 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 you know, light. Yep. Yep. It talks about how there was uh, uh, that light before there was the, the great, the great, uh, greater lights. Or before the uh, the moon and the sun, because the moon and the sun are like timers, you know. But there's that light. That's why when you look at uh, look at NASA images of the of the planet, you see one side dark and one side lit, but you can see the whole thing. So then you have to question, well, why is this side dark and this side lit, and you don't even see the sun? Right, and then why does it perfectly, you know, count down? Yeah. 
It, it's literally a, 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 a watch. Yeah. A counter. All the, all those, that's why I said he created uh, the stars and, the, and, and all those things for signs and seasons. You know? That's why he saw even tell you, like, this comet hasn't passed for like 5,000 years or something. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a clock, you know? But there's major signs uh, to fulfill prophecy, like the, like the, the blood moons we see, super moons, you know? You get the harvest moon. It's, it's all there for a, a specific moment, for a specific time. Yeah, hey, Esau just I'm, tell you it's all random. Oh yeah, he's a bug out. <laughs> <laughs> this the, and that's the guy. This is the guy you listen to, man. This is the guy you you trust in and believe in, man. The guy that'll tell you everything. Fucking just came out of randomness, man. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's a bug out. You know. Or what? We pass over there downtown. We was driving downtown. You seen that? Uh, that church, church of. Church oh, of God and uh, scientific knowledge. Christ the scientist. So, yeah, some bullshit like that, you know, where they're trying to they're trying to uh, merge science with with uh, uh, with the scriptures. They don't even know they don't even know the scriptures in the first place. You know, the scriptures were given to uh, uh, hey man, what what society looks at as scrub. Hey, and you're supposed to you're supposed to revel in that, man. You're supposed to delight in that. All right. You're supposed to be happy about that. You ain't supposed to be like these other guys out here trying to fucking look all immaculate. And, nah, you're supposed to look like a scrub, man. You're supposed to come out and say that we will be prophesying in sackcloth, man. We're supposed to look like that, man. This is uh Matthew 11 and 25. At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. He hid these things from the devils, man. And has revealed them unto babes. And those babes are, are the brothers, man. The brothers in the truth. You know? Because like a baby is viewed as something inferior, something weak. You know, something that needs to learn. You know, Esau will say that we're, we're unlearned. You know, Esau will say that we ain't shit. You know, we're inferior. A baby is inferior. Yahweh I said, look, I, I thank you, O Father, you revealed this unto these men that you've given me. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. Right, because you have to, hey man, you have to be sincere to want to learn from, you know, the humble, man. That's why, that, why, why you think IUIC and all them have so many members? It's because of the look. It's because of the outward appearance. They don't give a, they don't give a shit about the knowledge, the understanding, none of that. They're there just to be a part of their, uh, you know, their club. Glamorous. Yeah, yeah. And then they throw these parties. Yeah, that's why they're in there, all them women. Yeah, yeah, they throw these parties. This is, this, this is no, no, this, hey. The scriptures say that the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. Women, your job is to take care of your husband and, and learn in silence, in subjection, under your husband if you have one. A woman's job ain't to be prophesying, to be out here. A woman's job ain't to be keeping the Passover, you know, it's not a woman's job. In the kingdom, our, our women, our families are going to be all together because we're going we're gonna to all be righteous, you know. Your woman is going to be saved just because you want her, right? Okay, the scripture talks about she'll be saved in childbearing. She'll be saved through marriage. Right. Because it, 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 it pleases you for her to dwell with you. All right, you, you want her around, okay? Not because she's some great thing, man. All right? But that's, that's these groups, man. You know, they, they glorify these women, man. They allow these women to come in, you know, which is another off thing, man. You know? 
these other groups there, they're bugged out. It's a shame on them, man, because they don't teach the truth. You know? Party. It's just a big Israelite party. Big Israelite party. Yeah. Let me get, uh, let's, go, let's go back into some important matters. Yeah. I'm going to start, I'm going to do this. It's going to be a long, this, this will be a lot of stuff here. Yeah. This is a Jeremiah 49 and 7. It says, Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Concerning Edom. Once again, you Hebrew Edomites, or you so called white people, but you have to descend from Esau Edom. Is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Yeah, because here it is, Esau used to have understanding to be able to fix all these problems. Right. Now this guy can't fix the problems here in his own home. Here in this in this in this corporation, this country, America, he can't even fix problems here. But meanwhile, they'll spend billions of dollars to send war planes to Ukraine. Right. You know, this man can't correct nothing here. You know, you got a lot of these crops that don't grow. All these nations rising up against him. He, he can't do nothing to hinder them, man. You know, Iran just came out and said they got nukes. Okay. Iran came out and clearly said, we got nukes. Which Esau knew, but there's nothing he could do about it. The wisdom is uh, the, the wisdom and power of this devil is is failing. Okay, he is no more the most feared nation of people. Okay, and the Temanites they were mighty. Okay, they're known for being mighty, which would be like the Britons, the Germans, man. And the strong forces of Esau, man. And they, 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 you know, Russia's threatening them. You know, uh, Iran's threatening. So, is, 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 is wisdom no more in Teman? Right. Yeah, Ezekiel 38 taking place right now. Because uh, Russia is sending, hey, just like uh, America is sending, you know, weapons and defense systems to Ukraine during the uh, Russia Ukraine war that's going on. Well, uh, Russia is now sending weapons and defense systems to Iran for this war that's uh, going to be had between Israel and Iran. Yeah. Because they're getting ready to go into conflict with each other directly, man. Albert Pike said that this would be this would be the one to start the last war. Yep. This is it, man. This is it. This is it. You're either going to take heat now or forever hold your peace, man. Yeah. Or forever be torn in pieces. Right, man. Mm -hmm. Because. This is this is it. Yeah, this is there it. There might not be another Passover, man. There hey, probably won't be. Bro. I mean, we might get delivered from that Passover. We might not even make it to uh, into the elections before this uh, conflict in the Middle East goes down. They were saying that something's definitely gonna crack up before the election. Right, right. And this is this is it. You know. And then when this thing starts rolling. All right, it's going to mess up the economy. A world war will, will demolish the economy because all these different nations are going to are going to pick sides and pull away from each other, man. Yep. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 12. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. For Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Hey, hey, you know what's funny too? Hey, just like what uh, uh, that scripture this, you said is the, is the wisdom vanished out of Teman, right? And this is concerning Edom. And like the brother was saying, because they can't, it's like they don't realize that everything that they're doing, because everything that they're doing is is all a greedy game you know it's literally all to make them uh super rich man you know these different senators and government officials and all that stuff they're all they're selling their ass out basically they're selling their ass 
all right? That's why they're sending all this shit to Ukraine and all this aid everywhere, opening up the borders for everybody to come in, you know? Hey, Esau used to know that uh, you had to secure the border, man. Esau used to, hey, fucking, old, hey, man, you think uh, you had all these uh, jakes are talking about Obama this and Obama that. Bro, Obama had strict immigration policy, man. Obama, oh, hey, man, yeah, hey, all that shit came out with Trump with all the kids and cages and all. Obama was, had been doing that, you know. This has been going on since Bush. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that shit had been going on, bro. That shit had been going on. Because Esau knew he had to secure his borders, man. Yeah. But now, now, you know, because of his own wickedness, his own fucking lust and greed, man, he's just letting this, letting, selling his ass, man. He saw just selling his fucking ass, man. And and that's part of the ambushes because you have uh, all these different uh, Muslim immigrants, Chinese immigrants. You have Russian commandos coming over here. You got all kind of uh, uh, psychopaths from from uh, the southern you know southern uh, Jake countries coming up through here. You got Chinese uh, going uh, through uh, from Mexico to come up in here, man. You know, and these are all ambushes being prepared, man. Because at a time appointed, you know, they're gonna uh, 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 unleash hell, man. <clears throat> so, Jeremiah 49 and 8. Flee ye, turn back, well deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If great gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. That's why over there, in the European countries, they're going through uh, all these different problems, you know? Uh, uh, uh. You got all these different uh, immigrants running up, you know, running up in their shit, man. All right, and then on top of that, you have endless uh, uh, accounts coming out of all these uh, uh, big names, you know, especially here in America, that are being caught for uh, uh, talking to underage girls, dealing with underage girls, homosexuality going on in the Senate houses. You know, all this all this madness is being uncovered, you know, the FBI being involved in child trafficking, sex trafficking, you know, all these different, uh, uh, you know, shameful spewings are coming upon, you know, the heads of, uh, uh, of Esau, man. All right? You remember, you had the Jeffrey Epstein thing, and it was shown, you had the Clintons, you had, you had, everybody was involved with that, man. Hollywood's being exposed. The Lord is just laying everything bare. That's why I said, fear them not, because there is nothing that is hid that shall not be made known. Because Esau is the accuser. He want to come at us saying, oh, we're this and we're that. But it's literally being proven that, that you guys are the biggest criminals on earth, man. Yeah, this is uh, Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Yep. That's why a lot of these countries, you know, don't want nothing to do with you Americans being there. Don't want nothing to do with you Edomites in their country, man. The scripture said in the angel, they chased after you as a thief. Get the fuck out of here. Because if you look at secular history to what the Romans were doing, okay, this is just Esau's nature. He's a violent, homosexual, pedophile, okay? A, a, a rapist, a murderer, a thief, okay? You know what, the brother was talking about the White House, all of them, what they do. Well, you should just call it the house party, man. Because it's just a big fucking party. They're all in there doing whatever the fuck they want, man. Bush, all them, man, Clintons, they're all in there fucking molesting kids and participating in rituals, you know, remember that boxer, uh, Ryan Garcia, the young cat, yeah, uh, young up and coming, it's great, 
He said they took him to Bohemian Grove, they tied him down, and had him watch to molest babies, man. And he came out speaking about it like he was crying. He was, he was bugged out. He said seeing stuff like that, would, it fucked with his mind. Hell yeah. You know? That's, 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 that's not human, bro. That's not, that's not human, you know? The scriptures tell you that things like that are fucking off, man. You know? That's what Esau's into. Because Esau, when it comes to the, 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 the definition of the word, this man ain't human. This man is an immoral monster, man. You know? And when you look at the word for human, it means like a civilized person. Esau, Esau is the epitome of de-civilization, man. He de-civilizes -civiliz things, man. Habakkuk talks about he oppressed the man and his heritage. He de-civilizes you. Yeah. You got the Mahiven in the Muslim world. You know, don't want this damn devil there because he's he's allowing he's he's, he's forcing the image that their children could be homos, be be mos, and the wives could be thoughts, man. The women could be, you know, harlots. You know that you could be a fucking pig if you want to. It promotes that fucking Harry Potter shit on the world. You know. You could be a fucking wizard, you could be a fairy, you could be what you want. Do as thou wilt. That's the image he pushes on the world. Scriptures talk about, uh, in Habakkuk once again, he transgressed by wine, his philosophy. Okay, he pushes that philosophy on the world. Okay, he tells these nations, hey, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you this money, I'll give you uh, this equipment, this hardware, but you have to teach my curriculum to your people. Right. You have to bite my apple. You have to bite into this apple. That philosophy, man. That wisdom. You know, you get Apple, the computers. You know, they said the first Apple computer they sold, not to go off topic, was sold for $666. Okay. And that, that went into this man's system, man. That was the beginning of his B system coming about. That tech, you know. Which we're not saying the tech is evil, but this man takes everything that was created for good and makes it evil. It is. I mean, the internet is fucking evil. Man. It's evil. The Lord allowed this devil to do it, to push something good, which is the word. And that's why this man pushes so much wickedness out through it to keep you away from the word. Yeah. That's why when you go on YouTube, there's so much bullshit that pops up. Now they got all these YouTube shorts. You watch one, at least a 10. You watch 10, at least a 50. Next thing you know, two or three hours went by. Hey, and it's, it's proven based on studies, man, that uh, people that use TikTok and watch them short videos like that, it literally fucks your brain up, bro, because it destroys your attention span. It gives you anxiety, depression, like it, it, it'll social media period the way that it's designed it it, it uh, uh, just like how they would do studies on rats and cages where they they would uh, give a rat food at a certain time and then they they ring the bell to let it know that there was food and and then after so long of doing that they could ring the bell and the rat would just run to where it knows the food is coming from the same thing with social media with likes and. You know what I mean? The uh, uh, just the way that it's set up, man. You know, likes and subscribes and all this different shit. You know, tweets and everything. Every time you get a tweet, it dings or it, it, it's it's to make you. Looks like you're Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to turn you into a fucking uh, a degenerate. Man. It should, it should depend upon on this man's fucking system. Man. And, and yeah, man. And then. Uh, uh, People uh, uh, look through social media as if it's the, uh, the, the 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 arbiter of all knowledge, bro. Like these motherfuckers could be led so far astray, believing something that's a complete lie, just because they they read some fucking uh, uh, Twitter message about it, man. You know, and it could be it, it's a complete lie, man. 
but that's how they're gonna get you, man. That's how they're gonna get you when the chip comes out. You know, when Esau is pushing the, uh, 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 you know, his different directives, that's how he's gonna get you, man. He's gonna push it through the social media. He's gonna push it through these influencers, you know, through Hollywood. He's gonna make you trust and believe in him, man. He's already, he, he's already programmed you people to trust and believe in his fucking system, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this man gonna do, man. Yeah. It's the verse of Jeremiah 49 and 9. It says, if grape gatherers come to thee, will they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. I mean, you're going to get judged. You're not going to just escape into the sunset, man. Yep. Right off. Thinking you're going to cause all this chaos. All right. Have World War. Eradicate Jake. And you're just going to go off to another planet to repeat the same bullshit you've been doing? No, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai is bounds that you can't pass. You're a fucking bug out. You got the Van Allen belt. That's all there to keep you here. To keep you here so when he returns, he's going to fuck you up personally, man. For all the wickedness that you've done. It says your brethren catching all this hell, but you are not. Check this out. This is Revelation 17 and verse 16. It says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Talking about your brethren. In European, uh, NATO and the EU. It says, And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So they're catching hell. They're gonna they're gonna say, you know what? Fuck that place, man. Fuck America, man. All the scriptures talk about how your mother shall be ashamed, which is Britain. Ashamed of of, of America, man. Of the way the elite have moved you. Okay, the way you're going to war with all these countries, stirring up trouble and drama for them to have to answer to as well. So they're gonna say, you know what, burn this place. We don't need that place no more. The world is a lot more peaceful without America, without that whore. Okay? And they're gonna burn you. That's the ultimate uh, uh, judgment. This is going to be that lake of fire. You have uh, uh, Germany shoot nukes. Brit Britain shoot nukes. Okay. All that bend the bow. We already know Russia's going to shoot nukes. Okay, they're going to shoot them fucking Sarmats, man. You know? Yeah, because everybody's going to say this is your fucking fault. Hey, because think about it. That scripture says the least of the flock shall draw them out, right? Right now, you know, uh, uh, in the United Nations, the United Nations, which is uh, all these different heathen nations coming together, and they have councils and meetings with each other. Well, the United Nations came together, and they collectively decided that what Israel is doing is against uh, uh, international law. So the United Nations have decided that what Israel is doing is illegal. And so they're calling upon the United States to sanction Israel to do something about it. Be like, hey, check your check your homies, man. And all the nations have come together. That means that even the European nations are like, yo, uh, uh, yeah, this shit's not right, man. So they're looking to the U.S. to be like, hey, hey do something about these fools. Now, what what is the U.S. doing? The U.S. is gonna back them up, man. And that's already happening. The U.S. is sending uh, uh, military warships 
over to the Middle East. The, U the United States is sending troops to the Middle East to back up Israel. When it's clearly been decided by the whole world that Israel is in the wrong. That what they're doing is illegal and it's against international law. Yep. But, hey, the United States, hey, as it says in the scriptures, his stout, his look was